what is good everyone what is good welcome back to the channel with yours truly of course machiavelli hope y'all having a great day today so don't mind me if you hear me go ooh, ooh, right there i have a little bit of uh, something around my neck right now like it's it's really stiff on one side so i'm gonna be going to a masseuse in a few days to go fix it i don't know fix it just check it out maybe just need some massage we'll see i'm gonna go check it out with my doctor tomorrow actually but i'm going to masseuse on thursday y'all don't really care about this um, but anyway so today we're back as, as you can see the tab <laughs> as you guys can see in the title down below we're gonna be doing another tips and tricks video for you guys and today we're gonna be doing is this off take some kids off um today we're gonna be doing um how i record on the sims 4 um right now my settings are not perfect but they work so i'm using it for now until i have time to actually work with it or fix it until because i can record in 726 720 Hold up. 720 6, 6, 60p something like that i can record in that but my settings are off and then with my recording with my um video editor software which is actually um filmora which i'll go into that in another video um with my film with my filmora i i can record and i can't upload 60 but it's just not working right now so i have to figure that out but i'm too lazy to so um my settings might be different than everyone else's this is just here to like show you guys the starting of how i did it be the basis i don't even know <laughs> what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to give you guys like a push into knowing what i do um to be completely honest with you i just i went online i searched up um how to even record in obs and then i found the frame rates and all that i got it kind of working um i'll show you how that works but um it all depends on your computer and how you want to um record and what you want to record in so let's just get straight into it so first if you don't know what i'm using i'm using obs of course um how to download obs is let me just go on here real quick oh by the way i was watching symphora since symphora symphora um she did um <laughs> my build over again and i haven't watched it yet with no cc so i just finished watching it i'm watching it over again because i don't know i just like hearing her talk in the background so shout out to you go follow her <laughs> go follow her she did some awesome builds with no cc so if you want to find someone with no cc that's good right there shout out to you i shouldn't ask me anything i just thought i'd give her one because i was already on it um but anyways so we are going to be searching up uh what's it called again o b s there you go it's right there obs project uh, i was on there yesterday because i need i need i need i have uh, i need to download this new version but i'm so lazy to fix my settings all over again so i'm not gonna do that but this is it just type on obs and this is their new software i haven't tried it out yet but it should be the same one because i have um what's it called again i have obs studio right now and this is like this is like the old version you could say this is the newer one but it should be the same thing um they have it for mac windows and linux so go download it that's what i'm using it's free so <laughs> you can't go wrong with it being free um you know how i like my free stuff but anyways when you get onto it you have an option on making scenes and making sources so pretty much what they are scenes are pretty much you can make different things like you can categorize your stuff so one could be for sim youtube videos one could be for on screen um recording one could be for reaction videos like i have one for when i do my, re my reaction videos right here and i have one for when i do my sims videos and i have this one for when i'm i don't know it's, it was just there and i haven't deleted it yet i'm lazy okay don't don't argue with me <laughs> See, so those are what the scene, the scenes are, and then the sources are what you add on to the scene. So, for example, for my Sims ones, I have my video capture on if I'm doing face cam. I have my mic. Well, my mic's okay. That's a different thing. But um, I have my screen capture for my gaming one. I also have a display capture which I'm using right now. Um, I have a course a uh, what's called again a video capture for my webcam and pretty much that's pretty much all I have. I have doubles of it because sometimes one doesn't work and one does. It's stupid, okay, guys? So, as I said before, I'm not the best at OBS. I just play until it works. <laughs> and it's been working so far, so I'm not going to argue. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then with the mic and all that, I'm going to get to that right now. So then you have some other modes like studio mode. I use studio mode when I'm doing my reactions because, I don't know, I think they clip two screens together, sort of, because I use it for my webcam and one for my desktop. I don't know, it just works. I don't really know that much about studio mode. I have to really go in depth with it, but, you know, I got no time for that. I got no time for that, so <laughs> I haven't touched studio mode yet, but I'm definitely going to be doing that in the future. And so let's get into editing, editing a little bit. And so there's profiles too. I guess we can go to profiles, but I don't really use them that much. Um, you, I can't really go, go into profiles that much because... Um, I'm using my profile, I'm recording, so I can't really switch my profile while I'm recording. Um, but I have 
I can't really show you guys. But anyways, profiles are pretty much where you can have two profiles. Um, because each profile can have different settings. So I have one profile for um, what's it called again, live streaming, and another profile for recording. And whenever I'm live streaming, I go into the live stream profile because my settings are way different than I use for recording. So um, I'll talk about that in a second too. So pretty much settings go up into sweatings, sweatings, you know, let's hop into sweatings because we've been sweating this shit up. I just said shit. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Um, anyways, you get into here. Uh, you can choose your mode. It's either dark or default mode. I like dark because, you know, darkness is the way to go. You can do your language, English, uh, whatever language you want. They have a bunch. Well, yeah, they have a lot. So choose whatever language you need. And then you go to streaming. If you're a streamer, um, you get your YouTube code, which um, if you guys want to show you guys how to do live streams on YouTube, I can teach you guys that. It's very simple, very easy. Um, but if you, guys want to do, if you guys want me to do that for you guys, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to do it for y'all. This is your streaming stuff. So if you're streaming, if you're not, you don't worry about it just pass um output so this is what you have to worry about this is what um i'm doing right now so pretty much you have the streaming and then you have the recording um uh, what i'm doing is i'm doing the same as a streaming because i'm too lazy to do both um, so pretty much for since pretty much for streaming um like support um i use this i put all my uh what's called again i put all my settings with streaming is because i'm using same as streaming you can do it your own but i just do same as streaming it's it works for me so there we go it's pretty much what i have for video bit rate um it really depends on what you want to record in i'm recording in 720p so all i need is 800 but i was recording in so actually all i i can just do this in 950 actually that should, 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 should probably, okay let me do 950 but um i was recording in 720p 60 frame rates per second um but again like i said before my some my was calling it my uh femora just wouldn't make me upload my videos in 60 frame rate per second so i went down with my video I went down you see over here it says um, 720p that's what I'm recording in but my resolution for my monitor is 180 but so I'm recording in 720 and as you can see my frame rate over here is 3 is 30 so you could choose between 30 or 60 p per second 30 is this is it's just the fluency you could say um i like the i like 60 frame per second it looks way better in my opinion it just the fluency it looks so fluent but um it doesn't matter I'm, I'm recording in 30 but anyways back to what i was talking about it's pretty much the reason why i have um 959 um 9500 instead of having 8000 which is what you need i'm pretty sure that's what you need for to record in 720p with 30 frames per second is because I was, I was recording 60 frames per second and I forgot to change it. There you go. So pretty much, um, you just have to learn your frame rates. I'm pretty sure if you want to record, like I said before, 720p, 30 frames per second is 8,000. Um, 720p, 60 frame rates per second is um, 10,000. And then 1080p, I don't know nothing about that because I cannot record in 1080p. So... I don't know about that, but that's pretty much how you figure out the video bitrate. And then you can also go up and down. Like I said before, 950 is just something I'm doing right now, testing it out. Um, I don't really know how bit rates of uh, video bit rates work. I just use them until it looks good, <laughs> pretty much. So that's the best I can help you with. Um, vi uh, audio bit rate, I used to have it at, I don't know, what was I used to have it at? No, I don't know. I think I always had it at 160, so I keep it there. I don't really touch it. I don't know what it does, but. I keep you there. Um, and then software, I didn't touch that. Um, this thing I don't touch. Um, the path is where you find or you put your videos. Um, this is in recording settings. I put mine in my another file. I don't, because I have my main file, which is my C drive, but then I switched it and I put it on my D drive because it just runs faster. I don't rec really recommend to record it on the same file that you're using to put that your, like, your systems on. But I have mine's all messed up. Like my gaming system, like all my Sims 4 stuff is on my SSSD drive. That's where my Sims 4 stuff is. And I record on my D drive. So I could record on my C drive, but it's already full enough. So I just record on my D drive because it's easier. Um, so yeah, I do recommend you record your gameplay on a different state drive. Um, try not to record on the same one because it will lag um, that's one thing to help you out with no lagging is to record your gameplay on a different state drive so that's to help you out because i'm pretty sure if you go to my computer where's my computer at where are you at bro my computer where are you at there it is this pc i have um uh, my d drive i have my c drive and i have my g drive what my g drive what i have a g drive what's the g drive is that oh what's what's my g drive <laughs> 
what? I don't I don't know what this is. I, I honestly don't. I know I have I know this one, I know this one, I know this one, I know this one, but I don't know what that one is. What is this one? Oh, okay, never mind. I get that. That's 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 my SD card. I'm an idiot. That's my SD card. <laughs> um anyways, don't worry about that. But yeah, I'm recording on my D drive. So and that's my C drive. Oh god, it's full. I need to empty this out. <laughs> I think I have to empty up my recycling bin. But anyways, that's pretty much that. And then so that's pretty much tells you where the where your recording is going to be. And then I don't even know what that is, so I don't touch it. Um, same as streaming because, I don't know, I use some of these, but they never really worked right. So I just use the same as streaming so I can choose my own settings. And then, of course, you want it in MP4. I did it. I used to do it in, um, when I used to record, I fully forgot to pick MP4. I did all my videos in FLV, and I got so pissed because none of it worked. <laughs> but uh, everything's fine now. So, yeah, MP4 is the way to go for recording videos. And then I don't use that. And anyways, now let's move to audio. This is where you're going to get your mics and your speakers set up. So pretty much you're going to have your device audio, which I have default. And my default one is, of course, my speakers that are set up as default in normal senses. You know which one is default is when you go on right click speakers, you go to open mixer, no, not open mixer. Um, it's sounds it's okay there you go playback devices and it will show you that this one is my default device my speaker so that's can play as default and then i use my blue yeti um mic as my mic you just plug it in and it'll pop up there just click that my default mic is something else i think it's my speaker if i plug a mic into my speaker it'll use it as my default mic but i just use blue yeti it won't be default unless you make a default <laughs> and then that's pretty much for auto for audio i don't really do anything else with that then we have video which of course i'm recording with um like i said before the video quality works with your bit rate so know which what you want to do and your bit rate also works with where you place your files and how how heavy your gaming is so as i said it's all about recording a little bit watch it play back if it's getting glitchy lower the bit rate like it, it's just finding this sweet spot it's gonna be hard but it just takes a little bit of adjusting here and there so i have mine at the lowest setting right now well that i'm okay with which is 720 720p with 30 frames per second hopefully by the summer i'll upgrade to 60 frames per second again because i can do it or maybe i'll just go to 1080 who knows I'll figure something out, but um, I have it at 720p. That's what I'm recording with, and then I'm whoops, I'm um, doing a 30 frame, 30 frames rate per second video. But my don't worry about the screen resolution. It's just the resolution of your screen, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then I think that's it. I didn't really touch this. I did. I did. I touch that. I don't think I touched it. I don't really remember. But that's mine right there. If you wanted to copy it, I don't. I have never touched that. I don't think. Um, but anyways, and then there's hotkeys, which I have no hotkeys because I'm too lazy to remember hotkeys. So there you go. It can just like you just, like press like have like a one button represent. R can represent um stop stop streaming. Start streaming like. That's pretty much it. But oh no, 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 I clear. <laughs> I don't want none. Um, rather not. Okay, perfect. And that's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much hockey's are they're very self explanatory. And then advantage, not advantage, advanced, Jesus. Oh <laughs> I don't touch advanced because I'm not advanced. I don't know what the heck this is. So don't even ask me what this stuff is. I maybe when I was watching other people's videos, I put this stuff there, but I don't know what it is, my friend. I have no clue, but I have that, and it seems to be working. So you can copy if you want to, but no, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, so just know. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for settings, and that's pretty much all you can go by. So again, if you want to take anything from this video is, of course, your bit rate. Make sure that it's a, like... I always say start off with 720p, record it that. Once you find out that starts to work without like lagging, then go up and maybe upgrade the frame rate to 60 and then try to record with that. And if that doesn't work and if that starts getting glitchy, then take put back the actually you have to keep the bitrate the same because i like said before i don't know how 1080 is you can always try a 1080 but i don't know how that works so i'm not the guy for you ask someone else i'm not the guy i'm the king of 720 because <laughs> i don't have that big of a computer like my, my computer um cpu uh, not cpu my computer's um 
yeah, CPU is not that big. It's a it's an i7. It's not i7. It's an i5. So I have to upgrade that soon. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this helped some bit. I hope I explained something to you guys. Most likely I didn't because you know I suck at doing these videos. But hey, I tried. So um, if again, like I said before, if you have any other tips and tricks that you guys want me to explain or do for you guys, leave it in the comment section down below. I am here to help you guys as always. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side as always. Y'all know it. Deuces, y'all. Deuces. Hello. Where, 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 where's my stop button at? There we go. Stop.